Hi, this is the Gonna Dance team. I'm Glenn and Nikki. That's G O T T A D A N C E, as in Gene Kelly. Gonna dance. Now, um, we'd just like to say thank you to the Northamptonshire Foundation NHS uh, Trust for asking us to be part of this virtual wellbeing festival. And uh, we're delivering two workshops. This is the first of those, which is a ballroom session, an introduction to ballroom for those of you who've never done it before, and some of you may have. Um, now, ballroom dancing's a phenomenal thing. Keeps you very fit, extremely good cardiovascular, um, good for the joints and subtlety, um, and also very good for the mind. The complicated rhythms and timings help us keep the brain sharp. So it's very, very good for the body mind and the soul um, and we're delivering these two workshops hoping to give you a little shot in the arm keep you up to speed your your well-being emotionally physically um, as well so uh, we were in our past two times <laughs> national finalists and we teach from Lutworth through to Market Harborough and lots of the little villages in between so we deliver boring and dancing now we coach regularly most days of the week and if you want to have a look at our website, it gives you details of what we do, that's www.gotadanceonline.co.uk www.gotadanceonline.co.uk So we're going to give you a little introduction today to a bit of social foxtrot and some walks and just at the end we'll show you how that social foxtrot can develop to quick step and they're two of the major ballroom dances that you may well have seen on Strictly. So, anyway, moving swiftly on. So the social fox drop. This is a, a lovely simple dance, and you can, we can do this together. This is great. So we can start with two walks. Gentlemen's left, ladies right. Nice and efficient. A little walk. Together. Slow. Slow. Simple. Slow. And a side close. So we're just working together. Same form. <laughs> Side close two walks and a side close two walks and a side close slowly slowly quick quick slowly slowly quick quick this is great if you're on your own not an issue but if you've got a partner even better because this was designed into all years for packed war wounds um, to the sound of the time the social foxtrot or the slow rhythm. Lovely little thing and it fits any music other than 3-4 timing. So you can do this to a bit of Lady Mama, Lady Gaga, anything in the charts this will do. So there's a bit of foxtrot music but this will fit a bit of pop yellow music also. Okay, so very, very versatile. Brilliant for parties and weddings. Okay, so we'll just do that little step pattern once more. We'd start with our left leg, both of us for now. And we're just going to hold hands so we can do it nicely together. Or with the more. children, if you want to get the children involved. Yeah, you can have you. You can do this holding hands. Kids in the middle, whole family. And round the room we go with a walk, slow count, slow count, and a quick, quick. So the quicks are half the time of the slows. Quick, quick. One, two, one, two, one, 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 two. Keep the knees two, nice and soft. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, 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 two, one, two, one, one. Slowly, slowly, quick, quick, slowly, slowly, quick, quick, slowly, slowly, quick, quick. Okay? You have to carry on then, didn't you? I was getting carried away. Now, we're going to do that with a bit of music, just to show you how that would look. So I'm going to go out the screen. I'll be right back. One, two, three, four. Slowly, slowly, quick, quick, slowly, slowly, quick, quick. Walk, walk, side, close, walk, walk, side, close, walk, walk. Side close, walk, walk, side close, walk, walk, side close, walk, walk, side close. Should so, we do that in hold? Now, music. if we switch this round and the lady just changes leg, rather than us both start on the left, I would remain doing what I've been doing as leader, and this doesn't have to be the gent. Ladies can lead as well, and this is brilliant because people do know how to do this. You'll be surprised 
There's people out there that can do it, so ladies can be leaders. Walk and walk and side pose. Walk and walk and side pose. Walk and walk and side pose. Only difference now is that one of us is on the opposite leg. I'm still using the left to go back and then forward on the one and the four. One, four. And the lady is switching to the other leg, so now she's using her right. So if we do that without being so close so you can see us, now we're doing a walk and a walk and the side close, a walk and a walk and the side close, walk and a walk and the side close, walk and a walk, side close. Okay, and then you can partner. Should there be two of you, you can dance it like that. If not, on your own, works ideally well, no difference. And, and this is the social fox shot, splendid little dance. And just a wonderful thing to be able to do to any music other than waltzes. Three, four timing, or three beats in the bar, this won't work. Every other time signature it does. So most things that are playing, you'll be able to do this too. And we'll prove that. Gonna change the tempo now. We mentioned at the start, quick step. This fits a quick step. So we can change that up. So a much faster tempo. One, two, three, four. Slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow, slow. Quick, quick, walk, walk. Side, close, walk, walk. Or we do it side by side. One, two, three, four. Walk, walk. Side, close, walk, walk. Side, close, walk, walk. Side, close, walk, walk. Side, close, walk, walk. And we're developing that simple pattern just as it did after the interwar years. Tempo sped up, social foxtrot became quick step. And you can see how we can develop it quite easily. Simple eight step pattern. So we're going to go again. Gentleman's left or leader's left. And if we spin round, just do it separate so you can see it. And now we're going with the follower's right leg. Walk one and two and a side close walk and a walk and a side close fabulous simple as that eight steps you just repeat all the way around the room to whatever speed is playing all right now the posture and poise this is so important to dancing this is why i think it's a wonderful thing for your physical well-being uh, we stand in a lovely vertical set of blocks the head nicely over the ribs sat nicely over the hips over the knees and feet. So we have this lovely vertical column of weight stacked up. And you never really see a dancer walk around badly. I don't ever remember seeing Nureyev walking around like that. Dancers tend to stand with good posture because we train to do so, but it's so good for your body. So it's something you can do all the time. Train your body to do it and don't forget it. So we stand up nice and vertical. And then gentlemen, if you were to lead a, a lady or a leader, was going to dance with a follower, we take our left arm up, and the lady or the follower would take my left hand in their right, and then we bring our bodies together to meet, and then I'll my toe if you like. Oh, watch the toes. <laughs> and then I'll put my right hand on the lady's shoulder blade, and she would place her left hand on my upper arm. So we have a nice three-dimensional frame. Now if you just take a moment to look down at the feet, just watch where your feet are. If you can see, my feet are staggered slightly with the lady's feet. We're not toe to toe. And if you think about it, there's an obvious reason why we tend to lose toenail. Now if we're slightly staggered, my right foot, when I go forward, goes between the lady's feet. And when I go back, she will walk between my feet. So I go between the feet and outside her leg. She goes outside my leg and in between my feet. So it's a much more sensible way to dance. So when you're dancing with a partner, try not to get nose to nose, belly button to belly button, and toe to toe. Let's don't do that. We don't, oh, <coughs> that, that would be a bad No, no, no. Position. We are offset. Lady is slightly, or follow is slightly on the leader's right side, like so. And then when we walk, our feet are much more protected. Okay? So a lovely simple pattern, a nice posture, poise and hold. And before you know it, 
we look like we're ready for Strictly. Okay, so there's the social posture. We'll do that once more gently with a foxtrot beat and a nice posture and poise. As I say, you can do this family in a chain, go around and around, or with a partner, or on your own solo. It's a lovely way just to get joints moving if you've been stuck indoors all day. Lovely thing to do to music. And with a partner, there is nothing better. I think ballroom dance is a wonderful thing to do. It's one of the few dance forms that involves partnering. So, do you need to say anything about the surface? Of or course, yeah. People? Do always be careful. We, we've invested in a lovely floor that we're using. Be aware of what surface you're on. Don't go dancing on a... Because obviously we're stuck in the kitchen, aren't we? We didn't want to and be these on these are non tiles. tiles so. For obvious reasons. You don't want to go slipping over with a pot kettle in your hand. But we've laid a floor on top that is perfect for the purpose. So if you're on carpet, be careful socks, bare feet will stick. So just think about, consider what you're dancing on. And we'd also like to say this music's been recorded specially for us. It's been done by one of our dancers, Kevin Proctor, and he's part of Dave Arch's band from Strictly. Hey! And he comes to us for dance lessons, and he's recorded all this music for us for lockdown, so that we're not uh, interfering with PPL rights and using anybody's music. Moving on. Okay. So. We're we'll going to have a little go with a gentle fox drop. So this is called a slow rhythm or a social fox drop, which as we've shown, it can be easily converted into a quick set with a bit quicker tempo. Just show you that as a partnership. Two, three, four. Slow walk, slow walk, side close. Slow walk, slow walk, side close. Slow walk, slow walk. Side close, slow walk, slow walk, side close, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, slow. We're going to do another step, slow, slow, quick, quick, rock, rock, side close, rock, rock, side close, rock, rock, side close, rock. Rock, side, close, and walk, walk, side, close. And just replace the two walks with two rocks. The side close is exactly the same. So here's our basic. Two walks and side close. Two walks, side close, and then rock, rock, side close. Now move feet, we just change weight. Change weight. space here but whoever's on the outside when we're going around corners um, needs to take a little bit bigger step and whoever is on the inside needs to take a smaller step so just as we're doing that walking pattern just in, in, in case you we don't want you to be falling out when you get into a corner and you can't get around you see if we turn I'm on the if I'm on the outside of the turn then I need to take a bit bigger step and Glenn's taking a much smaller step, and that way we can get around. You see, if Glenn tries to take a big step when we get to a corner, we'll just go slow, sideways. Slow, quick, quick. He's blocked me, you see. Slow, quick. See, told you. So we yes. just travel, we don't turn. So it's, it's a bit of simple science. Inside and outside of turns, like the wheel hub and the tyre, the tyre goes a lot quicker than the hub. Okay. However, on that sequence that we've just showed you, the leader is facing the outside of the, you have to imagine that you're in a ballroom, the room. The, is facing the outside or is facing the walls and the lady's facing inside so she is invariably on the outside of the turn so she needs to take the bigger steps really to get us around the corners but the man must take a slightly smaller or the leader must take a slightly smaller step. On the side closes. Okay and we'll come to that when we do a little bit of waltz because we said we'd look at the waltz and waltz fabulous dance one of the most beautiful, but quite tricky. Um, and we'll move on to that now, because this is the one dance that that social fox shot pattern will not fit musically. This has got three beats in a bar. Bum, 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 bum. And you can't put four steps on that. 
This one has a one step per beat most of the time pattern. And our waltz, very elegant. So we start with the leaders, left leg is right. And we have our one, two, three, 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 four. There's our waltz pattern. Beautiful, elegant dance. And you see big difference here. We're going up and down. And we call this, as professional dancers, rise and fall. We go up and down. Fall is not probably the best word. Rise and lower. Rise. So in a simple term, really, just means that we take the heels up off the floor for a rise, and we call the forward. We're just pushing the heels back on the floor. Right. Down. That. So some of these in their own right can be a good little exercise for working calves and things, but just be careful. So the waltz. We'll have a little look at this pattern now. Not four steps this time. They're threes. One step taken per beat of music, all on slows. So if I was to start on my left, as I just said. I would go forward, follower or lady back. And then we take a little side step, and then we rise to draw the feet together. Now I would go back, follower or lady forward, our side step again, then we straighten that leg, lifting the heel just off the floor, or we rise, and that encourages the legs to close like a pair of scissors. Okay? And that gives us what we call a box. Now we were just talking about turn in foxtrot. These are what we use to turn the waltz. Now, the basic is easy. It's just those three steps repeated, but the ladies get a bit bored because they're going back all the time. One, two, to the can't see where they're going. Now they're having to trust us not to dance them off the floor or bounce off things. And they're changes. So we would just keep moving around. On a small floor, that's obviously a little more difficult. Again, we can do this separate. So if we did just like we did with our fox chop, we go for the left foot, both of us, step, side, close. And if we did the box, I'd be back, and partner back. And we'll run. Two, three, one, two, three. There's our box. Two, three. Now you see how we can turn this? Not helpful. <laughs> one, two, three, one, two, three. So we've got these left turns, because it's turning left, or in boring terms, a reverse uh, a bit now, now. Right foot. We do the same thing. We do with the right foot. So this is a right box. One, two, so one. The two. leader started with his right foot, so follow and start on there. So we have the box, and again this will turn. Gives my right foot as the, the leader. Right. So lovely right turn in action. So we're coming forward. Is using the right foot and we're turning in a clock in this direction. I hope I've said that correctly. <laughs> so we have a right turn of the right foot. Okay, um, now some of the simple things about ballroom. Ballroom is built around a walking action. It's very, very simple, very economic. And that's why you can ballroom dance well into your 80s, possibly about 93, one of our eldest pupils. So you can go into your 90s if you're fit and able. And it's a simple walking action. So if we go from the side, when we go forward, we swing the leg from the hip onto a nice heel ball toe action. Toe ball heel going back, heel ball toe going forward. So it really is just the same as we walk. So you do see some strange things when people come dancing. It's as if the floor is electrified or something. Some very strange things happen, but it is no different to the way we walk. Super efficient. In ballroom, Feet lovely and parallel, straight forward, and we'll swing the leg forward and back. This lovely economic moving action, sending the whole of our body forward and back. And from the side, it looks like a pendulum swinging. Hence, swing dance developed from swing music. Swing music. Okay? So, um, just Worth mentioning that it's such an efficient, beautiful way to move, and you'll see a, a quite distinct contrast when we come to the Latin lecture. We stand in a different way when we dance Latin, we use our feet differently because we do not want to swing like that. The musical tempos are too fast. Okay, so that covered back to our walls. Now, there's lots of different ways you can, you can practice this because uh, on our rise and fall, we tend to go up towards the end of the bar 
and then lower on the end of the bar. So in our musical terms, we've got one, two, three bar, two, two, three bar, three, two, three bar, four, two, three and one, two, three and four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's our lovely box. Now, a simple way to practice this, we showed you foxtrot inside and outside. Man going very small on his side clothes. Lady going bigger on their side clothes. If we were doing our waltz pattern, your right turn, forward right, gentlemen or leaders back, left followers or ladies. One, two, three, back left. I repeat now, one, two, three, back left. And now we'll go forwards to the end of the floor, wherever that might be. And we're going to go around the corner, forward side, close, back side, close, twice more. And with luck, I'm ready to progress again up the floor. Okay, so to begin with, that's a beautiful way to learn our walls. Two right boxes, and then as many basics as it takes you to get to the end of the space you're in. Two turning boxes complete, which is 12 steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, repeat that. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then I'll be forward until I get to the next corner. And when my right foot is free as leader, I would do two of those turning boxes again. So hopefully that explains how you could keep this going. That's very small. We should be able to do this in here. A couple of basics to get across the side of the room <laughs> and a couple of turns around the corner. A couple of basics and a couple of turns. Now we're normally used to dancing a bit bigger than this, so this could be a challenge. But we're going to do this to a little bit of music and we'll show you how you can do this at home with a partner <laughs> if you have one with you, son or daughter, with your family or even on your own. Because there are people that can waltz and again if you're at a party, birthday party or something, someone can dance, it's a brilliant thing to be able to get up and do. And you'll normally stop the traffic. Everyone loves to see somebody dancing properly. So a little bit of music will show you how this operates. Right. So do two basics. So my left, uh, my right leg. Two basics. Two turns. Repeat the turn. And we're off again. My right. Two in a straight line. Forward twice. Now the turn forward. Back bends. Forward turn. Back. Two basics on my right. On the left. Two turns. Again, two straight forward. And two turning boxes. And we start again. So that gives us the proper waltz pattern. Um, so your box, one of the most useful figures you can learn, and the changes are the progressive ones. Now with the changes, I keep going forward or the follower keeps going backward. Doesn't matter how you look at it. So we have left foot for the gen, or right foot if you're going around the other room. And one, two, three, forward, two, three, forward, two, three, forward, two, three. This is simpler if you can't get the box. I can just keep going straight forward as the leader, curving sharply. So hopefully you can see that the closing foot is the one that we're taking weight onto. So as I close the foot, I then stand on that on every third feet. One, two, three, one, two, three. I'm going to close and change weight. One, two, three. So that's how we alternate the feet every time. That's really how the waltz is. Well, up to now, everything we've done has been danced like that. 
We've not missed a weighted step out. We haven't taken a step and tapped anywhere. Everything has been a full step with weight. One, two, three, four. Or in our walks, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, every step with weight. At this early stage, that's the safest way, just like walking. No one walks down the street like this. So why would we dance like that? We take a step with weight, a step with weight, then a step with weight, okay? And then you tend to get the right lead foot every time, okay? So don't be tentative, be positive, um, and obviously enjoy what you're doing. So we mentioned the, the way the body works. So there's a lovely leg swing, and these are great little, as a little exercise. We've got our box, but we can just swing the leg from here. And these are fabulous things. These will help you dance better, but they also develop this. As we get a better dancer, we have a contrary body movement. You might hear that on Strictly. Surely they mention that. But same as when we walk, opposite side of body with leg. Okay? Don't see many people walk along like this. We don't dance in the same fashion. We take a step. And the opposite side of the body moves with that leg. Okay. Shall we just dance that in a train? We shall. Position. See that? So you can practice like this as well. Which foot are we going to start on? Great fun. We're going left. We'll start with the left foot. So you can see if you've got children or if you're different heights and sizes, you can always practice one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And if you want to, when you get to the corner, you can swap positions and change. So the one behind is now in front. So you've got one, two, three, one, two. We don't get very far, do we? Because <laughs> we're limited for space. So hopefully there's a few guides, a few tips to two of the biggest, most popular ballroom dances, the waltz, social folk shop, which we're going to do a little bit quicker again, just to show you to quick step music, okay? So we're going to finish now with the waltz, three, four times. The social foxtrot, the eight step pattern on the normal foxtrot music, and then sped up to fit a quick step. So these would be some of the first figures you'd learn if you came to a ballroom class. It'd be lovely to class. see some of you guys. So here's our waltz again. Now we're going to go proper dance position. Start with the right leaders. One, two, three. One, two, three. The box. Another one. And we begin again. Now the fox trot. The fox trot this time. A little burst of that. He's been doing the f f camera work, so he's been filming for us. So this is our son Theo, I'm Glenn, Hi. this is Nikki, and we are Gotta Dance, www.gotterdanceonline.co.uk. Thank you and happy dancing.